Let's talk about Kohl's for a moment as well, because here, too, we are seeing stronger than expected numbers. It also raised its forecast. There you go. Buck 65. These beats are also pretty substantial, which is interesting on the bottom line, um, which I think is pretty fascinating in this environment where we keep talking about inflation and we keep talking about uh, rising prices here again. Um, and it's also fascinating, given what we've heard for the past couple of days from the mass market retailers, if I can just sort of pause with this thought bubble for a minute, size, Walmart and Target are not raising prices, or at least not raising them as much on that end of the spectrum. It looks like some of these other retailers, at least to some degree, are raising prices, right? Because they're preserving some margin. And it's working, like their sales don't seem to be suffering, right? Or am I just looking too surface at this? Is that really what's going on? I, I think I can go on for days about this, but I won't because we're, we're short <laughs> on time. But I will say this. I think the act, Kohl's is another company that was attacked by an activist investor a couple years ago, similar to Macy's. And I think what these activists has done have done is really light a fire under the rear end of these executive teams that they have to no longer stuff their stores with extreme amounts in inventory or just try these ridiculous things that drove, don't drive sales and margins and to ultimately just drive a better, uh, more efficient in business. And I think you're seeing that a little bit out of Kohl's, another company I've been extremely critical of and I will continue to be critical of. I just think the quarter they announced today reflects more of an economic recovery rather than uh, benefits of what they're doing in their stores. But nonetheless, uh, Kohl's out here raising their full year guidance, striking an optimistic tone uh, for the holiday for the holiday season, echoing in many respects what we heard from Target yesterday. And I think uh, you'll see a lot of analysts come out here uh, into the weekend and raise their estimates on department stores and a lot of suppliers that sell into them because clearly the holiday season has started early and it looks to have started pretty well. Yeah, we'll talk more about that later. Two, just two more things I want to mention. One, the strength of Sephora. That is a strategic change that does seem to be paying off for Kohl's for, to some extent that those in-store Sephora's that Kohl's started. And on the margin front, the company says operating margin this year, uh, it's raising its outlook for operating margin this year to as much as 8.5%. It had been 7.6%.